I just want to know, have you copped the never surrender hot tops? Uh, yes or no? No, and I'm a fucking idiot because they're on eBay right now for like seven grand. Oh, your pop. mind's working, eh? Well, no, because now I want them because they're so fire. Woo! I mean, he's got to support himself somehow. Buddy, he did move a lot of fucking sneakers. Well, it was only a thousand pairs, though. It is hilarious. Guy, that's like his interest expenses on his most recent, like, uh... Whatever. I know. Like, that's his daily interest expenses. Yeah, it wasn't the best scam if he's, he's only going to sell a thousand of them. He's paying on his, uh, not settlement, what, what is it, his, his court, uh, whatever, like the $350 million, whatever it yeah. is. Yeah, I, I definitely want to talk about the that. The claim? But I'm more interested, in, in the meantime, yeah. before we move on to talking about his thing, I, I want to know what your thoughts on the Never Surrenders are. A uh, little gaudy for my tastes, <laughs> but literally, if I... They look like a wrestling shoe. They do look like... I mean, they basically look... Yeah, they look like a, just a normal Nike Air... Like a, maybe an Air Force One or uh, like a Adidas high top. But kind of, yeah. But gold with some American imagery. Nope, eagles and stuff on now, there. Now, do you think there will be other politicians following suit? Can we expect... <laughs> the Ted Cruz's? <laughs> the, the Honest Ted's? <laughs> the Honest Ted's toe shoes? The, the hiking shoes that have the toes in them? <laughs> Nancy Pelosi Reebok pumps and it's like the two tits or the pumps. Oh, that's so you're bad. pumping on the two tits. That's what yeah. I'm thinking for her. I'm going to get the Pete Buttigieg judges. What are the <laughs> What are the Pete Buttigieg judges? High also, heels. So, <laughs> I was going to say they're also sock shoes. <laughs> How about this? Nikki Haley combat boots, but you can only buy them for someone else because you would never go into combat yourself. Right. So they're combat boots that you take that Nikki Haley. They can only be purchased as a president for some a present for someone else. Not bad. Not okay, bad. I've got a couple more. How about this? Yeah. Chris Christie Crocs. <laughs> he looks like a Chris croc. Christie's Crocs for he, he sure. Would a, he would be a croc man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Extra wide. Okay, what are you thinking, Biden? Obviously, Biden are just New Balance, like those just orthotic New Balance. Orthotics, yeah, like, like <laughs> Velcro. <laughs> Bidens are like the mall walkers, you know. Velcro mall walkers, yeah, they're like the Biden Velcro mall walkers or slippers, easy slip ons, yeah. just <laughs> Velcros. They smell like fresh baked cookies. A C A O C, twelve million dollar tax the rich runners, <laughs> and they are twelve million dollars a pair. But there's only one pair you can buy. You can no, no. They're only, but you can only buy them if you're middle class. So it's mm, only they're so, so twelve million them. dollars, but they're only available to middle class people. Not bad. So Danny's been chomping at the bit to talk about this Trump. <laughs> Like he walked that, but... Danny when this I... lawsuit happened Danny told me he was like we might have to push the podcast back I'm still grieving they're doing the shit in plain sight Ryan. <laughs> they're the thing is all the people who are like the conspiracy nuts who are saying this is what's coming hey and they're just doing it buddy I'll tell you so when this lawsuit happened with Trump um, and basically, it's uh, what was it? Three hundred and fifty mil he has to pay. Three hundred? No, I believe it's three hundred fifty million. I believe there's an additional hundred million in retroactive interest. Yeah, I saw that on the three hundred. So I guess it's. I don't know if that's part of the three fifty or it's four fifty. Okay, I don't know. Uh, either way, absurd sum of money. They're talking about Letitia James is like if he doesn't pay this. So we're going to take his buildings. That's what I in saw. Yeah. Now she's like, legitimately, she's like, yeah, we have the that power. That feels like it would be like a debacle if they were like, hey, this is the day that we uh, take down Trump's building. I feel like that would mobilize they're not taking some people. down the building. No, they were, they're taking down the Trump name and the city yeah, owns it. Yeah, it's gonna, yeah, the city owns it and they're going to sell it to like Obama or something. It's going to be the Obama Tower. Uh, yeah. No. I I do feel like that would be uh, like a final straw for some people. If you want to see another insurrection, I feel like removing the the T off the Trump Tower as people <laughs> marching down to New York, Rump, right? Rump Tower. That's all they do. <laughs> And just a big photo of his big old booty. They call it the Trump Tower. If they <laughs> body, <laughs> if they did take down the Trump Tower and replace it with the Trump Tower, I feel like people wouldn't like that. Again, but what are people meant to do? They're doing this. Like, you know, as many people predicted, they're like, yeah, they're gonna, they're throwing the kitchen sink at him. It seems like, because it's all uh, women who are doing this, by the way, too. He's, he's really, 
it's uh, the pussies are grabbing back. Well, the judge was a this guy. Is a, the the pussies, judge was a dude. Yeah, but it's like the that's being brought <laughs> yeah. forward. Letitia James. You're saying this is the fu- final form of a pussy. Grabbing this is back. the pussy. Everybody was <laughs> awaiting. They say that uh, revenge is a, a dish best served cold. <laughs> and when he said, "I'm grabbing the pussies," and the pussies are like, "Oh, you'll get yours, Mr. Trump." You're right. <laughs> this is a pussy. Bonnie Willis or whatever the fuck. And, this is and, definitely you go to and have sex the chicken with in Georgia. Like it's just all these female whatever. This is a grabbing back pussy like you've never seen before. This is you uh, going to have sex with a girl and alien style comes out of there like and it's, grabs your dick and just rips it off. Dude, it's, they're coming. They are throwing the kitchen sink at this guy. Yeah. Well, I when this first happened, I always try to like um, because there is so much like um, fuzz to figure out what happens. You know what I mean? So I did try to do a fairly reasonable like what? Okay, what is what are they saying he did? And then what is he saying no he victims. didn't do? No victims. Yeah. So I'm kind of like I'm always trying to find like what's the what's the most aggressive like anti-Trumpers best case? You know what's the like steel man of like what he did? He they're they're like he did I guess uh, technically I guess they would say what it's just uh, fraudulently. Um, valuing buildings, but well, this is but that's a two way street. Well, it's a two way street for. I mean, the reason why every building is evaluated differently is because they allow you to keep your building for tax purposes at the not rate it's actually worth. And the reason for that is if they didn't have that, people would just be getting kicked out of their houses from uh, Th- that property too, tax. But then it's so also that's the l- big reason. Like, if you owned a house, yeah. right, mm-hmm. and it doubled, now they're like, oh, you owe us an extra four grand a uh, year property tax. And you're like, well, I haven't liquidated the property. So it would actually force people out of their houses. I agree with that. But I, in his case, what he's doing for these like giant real estate deals is he's using they it as op- collateral. He's using it as collateral and they operate in a different thing. This isn't about property taxes like the municipal taxes which is a different thing he's straight up like hey i own this property i would like to borrow money against it i think it's worth 500 well, this is the be- i'll tell you the best case that i've heard against it yeah and i'm not saying it's right or anything yeah, yeah. i'm just saying that uh this is what their side of the story is from someone that like you know feels pretty strongly about this yeah they're saying what he did was he fuzzed it in the sense that he was just like well this is what my whole business is worth and then it was kind of against his business mm-hmm. The collateral, which is a real estate business. Yeah. And then all of the individual property. So it wasn't against individual property. So he kind of fuzzed the numbers. There in that. like, that's what they're in- saying. They're saying there's some intangibles there, like goodwill, where you go, that's not actually worth anything. No, it was the actual business, the buildings that he fuzzed, but it was uh, as again, part of a larger but, package. But yeah. if you, any lender, like... Go check it. Yeah. They go do their due. That, that's what their whole job is. Like if you're right. an underwriter, someone says, hey, I'd like to borrow money against whatever asset I own. And then I think it's worth X and I'd like, and they go, we'll loan you 50% against, you know, loan to value or whatever. And then you say, this is what it's worth. And then they come back and they go, no, this is what it's worth. And we'll lend you 50% on this. Take it or leave it. I agree. And And he goes, and they came back and they go, okay. And I, when I looked at it, I did not see very convincing cases. It seems like the whole judge was like, basically they're all like, their whole platform was like, we're going to fucking take this guy down. Literally like Letitia James in 2018 was, she's like, (laughs) he's not the president (laughs) and I'm coming after him. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're just doing what they said they were going to do. I don't know. Even the Wall Street Journal was kind of like, uh, they had a big piece that kind of came out. It was an editorial, but it was kind of saying like, with this and the Elon Musk thing, it's the whole reason why people want to invest in America is because it's predictable and doesn't seem some so corrupt. You know yeah. what I mean? Whereas when shit like this happens, people are just like, well, well I mean, it's, I'm I'm equally as likely to put my money in China where it's just as volatile. Yeah, like, like China, you invest... Judges can just like bankrupt my business out on a grudge. Absolutely. Like China, you go, oh, I'm going to buy a building there and then one day the you just go, yeah, the government's reappropriating your building. Oh, that's Chang's Tower. It's now Mang's Tower. Or whatever. And you go, yeah, you, you don't own that anymore and... Thanks for, for for coming by. <laughs> and, yeah, and, but, but, but actually, it's ten bucks to get into, so or, pay up. or whatever. But and I get, we actually, you came in all those times. We're charging you interest on those. So. Sure, sure. But at least if you Mom, buy, just a, call it even, and you keep fucking walking, <laughs> pal. Yeah, but if you buy property in China, that is part of your model. You go, there's a X percent chance that this happens. That there's like the government gets something happens, and they take the whole thing. I think there is a part of it too, where it's kind of like it's sort of like the Screlly thing a little bit, where there's there's these kind of things that are on the board. 
border that a lot of companies do. Like it was kind of, oh, everyone knows you kind of fudge a little bit in this, and then, but no one really gets dinged for it. And then they make like a huge example of someone. And then as after that kind of people are aware of doing it. But again, he's it. not like the number one real estate developer. You're like, you're only making an example of him because you have a political grudge and he's running for president. Like it's not like you're like he's the. But we asked agree- we asked some people we know like a lot. Me and Danny have group chats where we asked a lot of people their personal opinions. Like off the record, what do you think? Like is this what is going on here? And most of them, uh, actually, I guess all of them were like, no, this is like straight up activism for sure. It's obvious. Like they're, I mean, yeah, it's it's. I think it's pretty clear what they're doing. Well, I kind of see that, but I mean, I'm just saying like I, that is. I mean, yeah, you're saying it's obvious, and maybe I agree, but I don't think it's that obvious. Like, there's a lot of real, you know, journalists and, uh, you know, TV stations being like, no, if you actually look at the thing, what he did do was this and this and this. They are. It, they're sort of pitching like, no, he actually did do it. You know, yeah, this is more show me the man. I'll show you the crime. I that's think. what I think. That's yeah, a, that's what I said in a text thread to someone. Yeah, I actually think I mean, it's it that. is that it's obviously that they're show me com- the man. I'll show you the crime. They're coming. And look, nobody like Trump. Like there's he's had so many shady dealings in the past. Of course, if you want to find something, but I'm sure Grant Cardone. Love you, Grant. Don't take this personally. But I'm sure if they, they start digging through Grant Cardone, like literally turning over every single I mean, that's what rock. happens with big companies. They come, they're like, oh, let's fucking dig into Google. And all of a sudden they have to pay out 200 mil or Yeah, whatever. they go, hey, we saw you were like expensing this. We don't allow that expense. 200 million, please. Okay, yeah. And, and you go, okay. The cost of doing business. It does seem like show me and the man, I'll show you the crime. Yeah. Now, the question is, are they coming after him because they know that he actually is popular enough to win? So they're like, we're going to just handcuff his ability to even finance a campaign, which is possible. Because now they're saying that he's, his, uh, the money going out is, is more than the money coming in in terms of his, his campaign donations. So, and if they're saying they're just going to seize his assets, that'll kind of put a hamper on things. Yeah, they do. Those rallies aren't cheap. Mm, you probably make some money at those rallies. I don't no? know. What do you mean? He's selling out arenas. I think the are those rallies t- are money coming in. Those pal. are ticketed events. Do you have to buy tickets? Fuck yeah! Okay, I I, I thought a campaign rally was like you're. Right. I'm less convinced now that I'm talking. Like I don't think he's <laughs> buying. I don't think like it's a po- politician. I don't know. Like you know they, they have those thousand dollar a dinner plate <laughs> things where you like those are for sure campaign. How rally. much uh, like VIP sh- tickets cost for a Trump uh, rally? But I'm saying like the people like in like That's the VIP. NASCAR fans going to see him in idaho they're not how to get tickets to donald trump's rally what's the average cost to attend a donald trump Maybe. rally I, I don't know I, I could be talking shit right now no i think he's making like when he's like in a rallies. field like in fucking iowa <laughs> you're not paid 25 bucks for a oh. trump rally in rapid city okay so they do okay I, something. You're making money at the rallies. Well, I think that's a part of his income. Is you, you're, he's making Sebastian Maniscalco money at these rallies. <laughs> Aren't you embarrassed? <laughs> uh, yeah, I figured that politicians don't charge money. To- okay, well, I thought it was funny that the because uh, Putin's uh, opposition Navalny. Yeah, Alexei Navalny. Yeah, he thing. obviously got uh, murdered. Sure. But Trump I came out. he died of natural causes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want to be on Putin's I was reading the same pre- Petersburg Times. And <laughs> he died of a, he tripped. <laughs> tripped and fell, landed on a fucking knife, did he? <laughs> yeah. He landed, landed on, on a bullet. Two, two gunshots to <laughs> the back of the head. He's got fucking headbutting Oops. bullets. <laughs> what do you expect? Your headbutting bullets. I mean, that's the kind of thing that happens. Uh, that's what happens. Well, I thought it was funny that Trump did a post basically saying, uh, I'm Navaldi in this situation. <laughs> he basically said, if you see what's happened to Navaldi, you kind of see the same thing happening to me. Yeah. Which, uh, obvi- it was like a pretty good troll to some degree because everyone's like, you love Russia. <laughs> and he was like, "I'm no, no I'm Navaldi. I mean, it was this, a good reframing by him. In this scenario, uh, I mean, look, there. there so, what do you think happens? Case to be made. So, what, what do you think happens with the Trump money? Does he just not pay it? Like, what happens? I don't think he can just be. Uh, he's appealing it. Yeah, but it's again, you, like, there's a level of power above. Dude, you can probably find these judges. You can like some of these judges. You can probably find them. You know, posting like never Trump stuff. 
Letitia James literally said he's well, not. She ran on that. Yeah, she ran. I'm the, he's not the president, and then she's the <laughs> one who's prosecuting him. Like, yeah, that's crazy. This is the definition of activism. Now, again, she probably be literally if you get like QAnon shaman to be the judge for Joe Biden. Yeah, and in her <laughs> mind, she's probably like, no, I'm like Elliot Ness, and I'm campaigning on we got to bring down Al Capone. That's of course who, what or she like, thinks. She's like, oh, like, like I'm John Gotti. Like we have to take down John Gotti. And everybody's like, yeah, <laughs> John Gotti's bad and does yeah, illegal yeah, yeah. things. Right, she thinks she's Bush against Osama bin Laden. Whatever, yeah, it's not that. Or another, you could probably even think of more examples of uh, someone taking down someone else that she thinks she is. <sighs> Coyote and the Roadrunner, for example. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, just stuff like that. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like uh, it's crazy. Uh, well, also, they're not done, buddy. That's I know that they're not done. He still Elon has, Musk's thing is clumped in here, but it's just his, they're they're on that guy's fucking dick right now, man. Yeah, but he's they're not trying to get him for anything criminal. Like they are literally trying to like in Georgia the the election interference shit. Like they're trying to put him in jail. It really does feel like <laughs> like there's, there's one thing to ding a guy for money and you know you get sued and once you get like really rich part of the game is you get sued like that is just part of the game if he goes to yeah exactly if he goes to jail uh trump do you wake up in the morning tie an american flag bandana around your head and then hit to the streets no i go break him out <laughs> no, I'm a real patriot. The, you hella, you, you get your January 6th was bad. Wait till the patriots show up at the prison and try mm, and break the president. You out. get your helicopter license. Yeah. <laughs> you get a thousand drones to make one giant bigger drone and then helicopter with the ladder. Yeah. And you go, hop on, pal. We're taking you to the White House. What would you do if you did all that? You took the helicopter, you land in the prison, you're breaking out Trump. You finally get him. You go, get in, Mr. Trump. He gets in and he goes, and he sits down next to you and he goes, this is the best they could do. Bring me this fat fuck. <laughs> no, well, would you it, leave him there, or would you still I, I mean, take it, him even it, after he started verbally abusing well, you? Well, if I'm, it, would it, you drop assu- him back? Assuming off? this is some sort of movie, and I'm like the ca- main character in this movie rescuing the president. Uh, what happens? I think you see yourself as the protagonist, but you are just like an extra. Oh, okay. Well, in the scenario where I'm the protagonist, I go to get Trump, and then I look over there and I see Sam Bankman Fried, and I go, "Mr. President." <laughs> Give me a minute. And then <laughs> he goes, he goes, we got to go. We got to go. I go, I got one more job. And then you do hand to hand combat. Yeah, with Sam Hand to hand combat. <laughs> he literally like pulls out a fucking shiv. I'm like hand to handing him. And then you come back, get in the helicopter. And he goes, what happened? He goes, just kick the shit out of me. <laughs> Because he fucked me up pretty bad. I guess he was doing jujitsu or something this whole time. Anyways, let's do you know how to here. drive a plane? My arm's broken. <laughs> no, I beat the shit out of Sam Baker free like Super Mario, where the coins start coming uh-huh. out of him, just <laughs> rocking him like. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. I think all the coins for everybody. <laughs> Daniel, we gotta go. <laughs> Daniel, uh, that's Trump. The Trump. Daniel, no, I can't do it. <laughs> it's hard to do Trump in that context. Yeah, in that context.